Mercy Hospital. No longer Mercy Hospital. It's called Insight. I'm 26 and Prairie. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. Real so. Now there he go with his noise. See, all they doing is trolling. This said, Wink, Wink, Winko Lee. My name is Mary Lee Davis. You understand what I'm saying? Now I try to talk to, you know, the administrator at uh, what is now Insight Hospital because it's all about the insight. And uh, it's no longer Mercy Hospital. So when they about to kill you, you understand what I'm saying? My ex-girlfriend had a uh, Saturn. That one has tinted windows. If it was about tinted windows, May 31st, 2008. Believe me. See, they trolls. That's what it is. They trolls. And whoever you connected with, if they can't get you, they'll get a... Uh, they'll get the ones closest to you. And they keep you for last, and of course, chill you in the end and stuff. Now that's, like I said, Mercy Hospital back there. This was Michael Reese Hospital over here. My so-called sister, Linda Nelson, used to work here. And she was, she was devilish, I ain't gonna lie. She was devilish. And I was gonna be a nurse, but I figured they blew my head off. See, tinted windows. It wasn't gonna do me no good. Her husband, Frank Nelson, worked at AT&T. See, they only get with you because, you know, they trying to kill you, breed you, or some doof doofus ass shit. And they look at my videos and they try to, you know, fill in the blanks, but I backtrack like Harriet Tubman. That's why Harriet Tubman kept going back and forth. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this say Robert Moore, Robert Motts. It's the police. You see the 911? It's the police doing all the work. That's why everywhere I go, trouble follows me. And they put this down here uh, in 1996. And I gave my true story in 1995. Okay, so what do you have? There's a lot of police officers that's, you know, left over trying to figure out how we did it. And I always say, because I'm the originator of rap music. If I tell you I got to kill you, I'm not going to kill you personally. I'm just going to, you know, let you know that they trying to exterminate me. You see that? America's most experienced pest control. So I'm getting on their nerves and they getting on mine and we kind of like this bumping heads and shit. It's the police. Now, this is a true story because, you know, they always try to make it seem like a motherfucker crazy. But this is a true story. Now, you got Doe right there. You got Jane Doe, John Doe, and then you got a deer. You understand what I'm saying? A deer, a baby deer is called a doe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Michael Reese Hospital used to be over here, so all that rap money, rappers beware because they using the fuck out of us to come the fuck up. Now this right here, they say accommodate me. You understand what I'm saying? You flip that six, you got a nine. And that'll be, switch it around, 1985 when the color purple came out. And of course they say, your dead body be just what we need. So, you know, if you don't believe that the devil is busy, you know what I'm saying? I done proved it a million different ways. That McCormick place was not there in uh, 1996. About, you know what I'm saying? When when they uh, railroaded me and it made me homeless and stuff, and I walked down that you know street, and some told me to go to Mercy Hospital that is still visible, but it's, they didn't change the name. But if you look closely, you can still see how long it's been up there, Mercy Hospital, uh, Mercy Hospital and Medical Center. See, medical men they trying to figure out who you are and breed you and all kind of shit, you know, sacrifice you, Illuminati, all kind of bullshit. And I was in this motherfucker, for real, for real. And I was homeless and you know, I was like, you know, 
I need shelter because I'm homeless. And they was like, okay. And they fed me and next thing you know, they sent some teenager in my room trying to, you know, make me into a freak or something. I, she started kissing on me and stuff. And I was, you know, asleep. And I woke up and I said, what the hell? And they said, you ain't one of us. But if I would have engaged in it, they would have used that as a proof that, you know, I'm a freakazoid or something. You know, you know how they do try to get something on you and stuff because they have done so much and stuff. And if they can't get you to, you know, be one of them, I guess they kill you because you know too damn much, right? So, you know, y'all know what time it is. Y'all got uh, phones and I made sure of that. So, you know, that's why Tupac was like everywhere he went trouble following him. So we got new people taking over, thinking they finna get over and shit by listening to me. You can't, you can't take my story and then make it yours. And you can't believe everything as far as, you know, what you think to be the truth is if you haven't experienced what I've been through. Now, if you witnessed it, because they got cameras and stuff, and they talking about, I can't take bitches. I'm like, shit, you got cameras every damn way. In the, in the uh, hospital, outside the fucking hospital, around the hospital, on the street, and you telling me, you know what I'm saying? And I know shysters when I see them and stuff, and, you know, whoever um, feeding these people, which is me, my money in the rappers, you understand what I'm saying? You know, they think they could uh, control me by, uh, you know, doing the most. But as you can see right here, you can tell they trolling because that's a Robert Mott's 1861. You could flip it to like, you know, 1981 or whatever, but that definitely say now 1911. The police, see the police? Founder, picking theater 1905 now you just put a nine there you got 1995 it's all coded language and stuff so they like you still tripping you damn right bitch ain't nothing ha you ain't give me nothing for my pain and suffering so I, you, they like you got out of your bed to come no you just so happy to be on route you understand what i'm saying i wanted to see what was going on and when you took the sign down you made it visible you understand what i'm saying for real you made people question why did they change it you understand? Because a lot of white people and black people and black and white people has infiltrated my city, Chicago. That's the bottom line. Okay? Let's just quit playing. And then they don't want to pay the Native Americans. And, you know, I'm, they, I'm waiting for these motherfuckers to, uh, you know, finish the job. Now, this lady gave me a book. And I know she going to blow up because they use people like me. That's hot as far as, uh, you know, knowing what they doing they can't make it without us like dmx said but uh you know hopefully somebody you know recognize my gifts before it's over with and sharing and here you go right here it says stored up tears release your tears and renew your life dot 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 you understand what i'm saying now it looks to me as though she had cancer or something was wrong with her see a lot of these people waiting on me to die and I'm just telling you the truth. So, you know, they can get the cures and whatever and stuff and act like it never happened. They got this truck that be going by that say, as if it never happened. And that's what people do. In small towns and secret societies, they act as if it never happened. Now, her name, is, her last name is Harvey. Now, I did a video down here before. And, you know, Steve Harvey is married you know, to Mar uh, Marjorie, and I believe she was a nurse. You know what I'm saying? Because I put the clues together, and that's why they want to make it seem like I'm crazy and stuff. But look, nothing happens in this world by mistake, and it's a small world after all. Now, this guy's coming across the street, white guy, that would have never happened before. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, now this here says, 1957 okay urban planner first black chairman of chicago housing authority you understand what i'm saying now you switch to 1957 around you got 1975 i became the originator of rap music at the age of eight in 1975 so while i was telling miss harvey my truth she said mm, that sounds like a book yeah 
don't know if she's being facetious or whatever, but um, um, I'm trying to figure out where I think it's back this way. Hold on, hold on. I'll be doing so many videos. I be forgetting, but I'm glad I seen that right there. I think it's down. It's down here. I gotta go this way. Yeah. So they expect people like me. You know, we like. I'm like the gang, Scooby Doo and stuff. You know, we would have got away with it if it hadn't been for the meddling food. So that's why they knew people had was influenced by me. That's why they kept me in the street selling general merchandise, music, and all that. So people could get familiar with me. But, uh, and then they could, uh, hold on. Now, this ain't got no death date on it. Catherine Dunbar, 1909. Uh choreographer, anthropologist, social activist, founded the Negro Dance in 1931. So everybody's not dead. This is like Hollywood walk of fame. See, Chicago used to be, you know, one of them cities that was flourishing, like Hollywood, real talk. Now down here, I seen something that had Harvey on it, and that lady, you know, you know, people got eyes and ears everywhere. I sit in one of my raps, I'm here, there, everywhere, and even your place. So what they do, they come to my city with a suitcase and leave out with a brakes truck. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. Now, I think it's down here. But yeah. They keep the best for last, the one that's been traumatized the most. And, uh, you know, make it seem as though they crazy. And then next thing you know, they put them away forever and think that's what happened with my mother. And she threw me under the bus. And I like to say, you know, if uh, a person sell themselves out, they'll sell you out. Now this says Marjorie. This is what I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This say Marjorie. That's that's um Steve Harvey's wife. You understand what I'm saying? Name. And she got with Steve Harvey because, you know, he had money and stuff, you know. And people, I ain't gonna say a sucker for a pretty face, but guess how many times somebody came down that was a king or a queen. You understand what I'm saying? Because of a pretty face. Samson and Delilah, right? So they try to do that with my ex-girlfriend, you know, Lawanda, Joy Jacobs. But she never moved in. She just was sucking up information and stuff. And I knew I'd get in the end. But yeah, nothing happens in this world by mistake. So I did that Marjorie video before. Now McDonald's is still McDonald's. They ain't changed their fucking name. You understand what I'm saying? So why did uh, they change? Mercy Hospital because of this reason right here. And I have, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Say, don't panic, pregnant, scared. You think you're alone, you're not. So what they try to do is rape me one last time because I was raped by five guys and they know I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate. And I'm in a building with a bunch of guys. You know what I'm saying? They can't wait to see if I'm gonna go crazy so they can violate me and then I have to give up my baby even though I'm an originator of rap music and I can afford whatever the fuck I want but they don't want to pay me that's what it boiled down to straight up so step your game up hold on to your children